Hi, my name is Margaret Sass. I'm the Assistant Director of Service Learning here at Purdue University. And this is a brief introduction of my Service Learning Reflection Journal. This is one of several that I have listed on our website, and they are all free for download. However, if you'd like to purchase a copy, it's at cost, and you can print them through ePubs. So let's get started really quickly so you can understand the thought process behind my Service Learning Journal. So the front cover of this page looks like this and that would be something that would print in color or not so let's go over the contents of my service learning journal you have an introduction about what's the purpose of this a public affairs scale which is also pre and post a timeline a daily journal a weekly journal and a reflection paper and again the public affairs scale So, the public affairs scale. Why have I put this in there? Well, it's about 40 questions, and the whole purpose is to put a quantitative analysis on service learning and the project that you have decided to do in your class. This is a pre-test and a post-test to show any type of gain the student may have. It's on a Likert scale, and you use it before you start the project, and you use it at the very end. This is the service learning project plan. There is more questions other than this front page, but it gives you a general idea of who you'll be volunteering or working with, and the whole purpose of the project, and what's the benefit. You should always reflect about the importance of what you are doing in the community before you go out into the community. It's also an opportunity to research the purpose of that nonprofit organization, and what services they are providing, and what community they are serving. This is a timeline. This is based on a semester of college. However, you can manipulate this time schedule for any type of project that you have. Uh, there's alternative breaks that may be shorter. There's also ones that may consist of a few weekends. But this is a general overall aspect if you were to be enrolled in a fall semester or spring semester type of school schedule. So this is the daily journal. I have two different types. I have daily and I have weekly. The only significant difference between the two is the fact that one is a reflection per day and the weekly journal is a reflection per week based on how long the actual activity is. So if it were to occur over a period of seven days, you would probably choose the daily journal. If it were to occur over several weeks or months, then you would want to use the weekly journal. There is general questions that are purposely there to prompt the student to really evaluate and reflect upon what they are doing at that moment. It should be based on present time. There's also a scale, another Likert scale on the left hand side that's also on each reflection um, day if the student chooses to use it or the instructor chooses to use it as well. Again, this is an opportunity to add a little more quantitative analysis to a very qualitative type of um, research, pro research project that could occur if you decide to use the material that you collect from your students. Again, this is the second page. I left a portion at the end for feedback from the instructor for the fact that sometimes students really like to know what the instructor is saying. This is the end of the service learning project reflection paper. There should always be a post reflection analysis. This can usually be done through a discussion or a presentation. However, this is an opportunity for assignment of an essay. So my suggestion is to create an essay based on your concept and your preferences so they can reflect upon what they've done and what impact they made not only on their own indivi individual personable selves, but also the community and the members that the community are involved in. That's the end of my brief discussion of my service learning journal. I hope you have an opportunity to look at my other journals and use them that, where you need them in the community and in your classroom. Thank you. Have a fantastic day.